In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple shooting game um, in Kodu Game Lab. So, um, I'm start off by inserting the actual Kodu sprite character rover, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to click on um, this object tool, and then uh, once it's selected, left click somewhere else, and I'm going to insert a rover. Now, for the land, the rover is slightly big. So I'm going to resize this. You could also add in extra land if you wanted, or terrain. But I'm just going to resize it just to, for uh, this video, just to make it simple. So I'm going to change the size of the rover. Okay, uh, reasonable size. Once you're happy with the size, you can come out and you can then uh, program the rover to move around um, based on the arrow keys that you select on your keyboard and you're going to get it to move and you can get it to move quickly if you want to um, so we come out here and then um, you can also change some other settings so if you right click on the rover itself and left click here on change settings you can change the speed, um, turning speed and um, lots of different settings you can mess around with um, down here in this section here but you can just alter the speed of the actual uh, rover itself come out here by pressing escape and you can click on the play button and basically you've got a, a rover to move around the terrain now um, the game element is going to come into it and I'm going to add in uh, some other objects um, so I'm going to add in the cost so uh, Castle is huge for the size of the terrain, so I'm going to change. I'm going to um, change the size of this castle um, until you get a size that you're happy with, and you can place it wherever you want to. So now the objective of this game is um, what I want to do is to get the rover to go around collecting coins. But if he happens to go close, he or she happens to go close to the castle, then um, it will be fine. The rover will be fine. So I'm going to right click on here and program. So when um, it, when the castle sees the um, rover, close by, then uh, the actions it will take is that, um, sorry, not the actions, but. Um, Is the um, rover close by? And what we're going to get it to do? We're going to get it to shoot. Um, at the actual uh, rover. That's fine. Let's just test if this works. So it's eight out here. Click on play. Um, the rover is not close by. The rover is not close by. As soon as it's close by. Uh, the castle will start firing at the uh, rover. So that works. So happy with that. Um, once you're happy with the settings of your castle, you can just copy and paste this um, castle. Um, so I'm going to put a castle in every single uh, corner just to make the game slightly more difficult. So again, copy and paste this. Now once you copy and paste this, the program within the first castle is copied through as well. So you, there's no need to actually um, copy through um, or redo the code because the coding is the same as the first castle. So now we're going to um, add another object and these are coins to collect. So let's add in a coin. Coins here. So you could add in as many coins as you want and in the same way you can program one coin and then copy and paste it a number of times. Um, like we did with the castle, so you don't have to program each individual coin. So we're going to right click here and program. So when um, the coin bumps into the um, rover, yeah, when it bumps into the rover, what's going to happen?
we're gonna vanish it and vanish what we can either vanish um, the rover which is probably not ideal because um, we don't want the rover to vanish so we're going to vanish the actual uh, coin itself so we come up here the coins here and um, we click on play the game started whoops um, I don't know why the actual um, castles were firing at the um, coin they should have been so if we click on the actually yeah, yeah, the castle is actually firing at the coin so there must be a bit of a error in the code of the castle so we might actually go to program so let's just go yeah, and let's delete that Thank you for watching.